Hello. Welcome to this session on building the right API team. As part of this video, we'll talk you through our recommendations when it comes to forming your API team, the responsibilities, and the various roles involved. So to start things off, let's take a look at the digital value chain. You might have seen this diagram before, but to briefly explain, the digital value chain shows the relationship between the various teams and technologies from the end consumer all the way down to the back end systems. For this session, we'll be focusing specifically on the API team shown here in the chain. The API team builds, yep, you guessed it, the APIs. This is the team that will be working directly with your API platform to create lovable APIs for your app developers. In terms of responsibility, the API team owns five core areas. First is building highly consumable APIs. The key word here is consumable. We recommend approaching API design and implementation from the outside in rather than the inside out. What this means is that the API team will always need to keep the end consumer in mind when approaching APIs. In the case of our digital value chain, this is the app developer. The API team should always be asking itself, if I were an app developer, what type of APIs would I want to consume? Second is learning and applying best practices to the APIs that they will be building. We promote a variety of industry best practices when it comes to the design, development, and the deployment of your APIs. Please refer to the docs page or our self-service training on Coursera for additional details. Third is engagement. Similar to our focus on consumable APIs, the API team should be engaged with all the players in the digital value chain. This includes backend system teams, which the APIs will front, to the app developer in order to gain valuable insights to unearth areas of, to further iterate on and to enhance your existing services. Scalability is also very important when it comes to your API program. Oftentimes, we see that the API team starts small but grows rapidly as more and more demand comes down the pipeline. In these scenarios, federation becomes very important. The API team owns the creation and the management of materials that allows for the entire organization to rapidly scale. This includes things like the API playbook, automated test suites, and more. Finally, API should always be improving. By leveraging capabilities of the platform such as analytics, the API team can gain valuable insight into who's using the APIs and how. This information allows the API team to find areas of improvement and enhancements based on real data that they are seeing. Remember our focus on consumability? This information can help a lot with that. We strongly believe in the fast and iterative approach to development. Market shifts happen rapidly, and your API team needs to be able to adapt and be flexible in its delivery approach. As a result, we recommend a methodology such as Agile for your program. Similarly, the API team is composed in a similar fashion to a standard Scrum team. A diverse set of perspectives is also very important, which we'll cover in more detail when we talk about roles. Having different viewpoints that encompass the business, technical, and operational views will streamline your API development process. So now that we've covered the basics, let's jump into the individual roles of an API team. There are five main roles when it comes to a good API team. They are the API team leader, the architect, the API developers, the evangelist, and the extended team. Let's spend the next few minutes going over each one. The API team leader is essentially your product owner. Now note that I said product owner and not project manager. As mentioned before, the API team we're suggesting is based off the standard Scrum model. So the API team leader is essentially your product owner in Scrum. As such, the team leader should be aligned with both the business and the IT and have a good understanding of the needs of the end consumer. For example, the app developer. The team leader also helps create, refine, and prioritize the scope for the API team. When it comes down to it, the team leader will be the one that makes the call if trade-offs are needed in the event that the API team doesn't have the bandwidth to complete all the items. The architect is critical to the API team. Not only do they bridge the gap between the API team leader and the API developers, they also establish and enforce API best practices and keep a common design cadence. Their approach to the API design is consumer focused and educates the wider API team on how to leverage the API platform. In summary, they're part designer, part teacher, and part enforcer. 
The API developers is your core development group. At the end of the day, these are the folks that are going to get the job done. The API developers will look to the API team leader for guidance on the scope and the architect for their design principles. They will then take those inputs and build out the actual APIs. As you would expect, the API developers should be very familiar with the API platform. Without the API developers, nothing will get built, so be sure you're nice to them. The evangelist is the mascot for the API program. They are responsible for not only outreaching to your API consumers, but also creating and nurturing a developer community. They can provide valuable feedback from the field, which can then directly impact the direction of the API program. A good evangelist will be critical in expanding the audience of your APIs, both within and outside of your organization. The extended team is also very important in getting your APIs out to production. The extended team covers organizations such as security, QA, operations, and others. The extended team and their processes may vary depending on how your organization is set up, but the key takeaway is that these teams should support rather than obstruct your time to market. So before we wrap up, let's cover some common attributes that all successful API teams have. First, a successful API team should have the support of an executive sponsor. Chances are the API team will continue to push the envelope of innovation within your organization. So having a strong executive sponsor can help clear any of these roadblocks that they may face when challenging the status quo. Second, the API team should be solely focused on APIs. We often see API teams consist of developers who are also shared with other projects. This not only can lead to issues with resourcing and bandwidth, but also affect the direction of your APIs, such as cutting corners and striving away from best practices. Third, there must be a willingness to train others within the organization. As your API program grows, so will the demand. This, in turn, can lead to an influx of APIs that will need to be created or enhanced. Chances are, the API team that you start off with will expand, and as new members are brought in, they will need to be trained on the foundational design philosophies you've already established. In the world of APIs and the consumer-focused approach, a consistent API experience is key. Fourth, the API team should have a direct line to the business. There shouldn't be any silos between the business and technical teams. Makes sense, right? If the API team has a better understanding of the business vision and the impacts to the end consumers, the better the APIs will be, since they will ensure that the business vision is properly achieved. Finally, the API team should be free from pre-existing constraints. As we mentioned before, the API team should strive on innovation and not be constrained by outdated governance models or processes. In the world of APIs, time to market is critical, so welcome change rather than trying to fit it within an insufficient process. In closing, we totally understand if the concept discussed in this video may seem a little challenging, especially if you already have a governance or delivery structure in place today. Remember that the start always requires the greatest effort, but if you can overcome these challenges and embrace the ideas we just covered, you'll have a more robust and innovative API team. Thank you.